Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, RivetWiz here. Today I will show you how to create these base plates for the connection from a steel column to a concrete base. So please stay tuned. Okay, so let me show you how to do a base plate. It's quite straightforward. So you can go to the steel tab or the structures tab under this connections area so it doesn't really matter which one then you just click on this arrow which is basically the connection settings and then all the preloaded connections will be on the left hand side and then the loaded connections in your project will be on the right so at the moment we don't have any connections loaded so i'm going to choose the base plate i'm going to say add and okay now nothing has happened at the moment it's just loaded in so we go and say connection we will click on the first element which is the column i will press control on my keyboard and select the base so that both of them are selected and i press enter now you will see there's some sort of a connection that has been generated but it's the generic connection you click on the drop down menu at the properties and you say base plate and there it's generated a base plate for us just always make sure your detail level here in the bottom is on fine and not on coarse or medium if i do change it to medium it's not going to show you your connection so let's just go to fine now you can go and edit this base plate you just press edit type then it's going to load or open this properties and then you're going to go to modify parameters and you say edit and now I'm just going to zoom into the base plate here on the left so you can see what you are doing. And then the plate thickness, I'm going to change this to 10. I know this might seem odd that there's a gap, but that's just because you have changed the uh, plate thickness. So it will adapt once you press OK on your properties tab here. It will adjust in the actual project. So the set out would be from the center. Then the column shortening is, I always say plate thickness because that is basically what, what it means is by how much do you want the column to be shorter than the actual, you know, full length. So you can change this to a value if you'd like, but I always keep it to plate thickness. Then I just keep the direction and the rotation the same. Then base plate dimensions. Here you can decide if you want a square plate so if you want a square plate you can just leave it as thick and you can change this to 300 you'll see that that square updates or if you want to edit the plate to have the dimensions to yours to your preference you'll just untick this box and then if you look at the one here it represents the one dimension which is from the center of this column to the edge of the plate same with the two the three and the four so for example purposes if i do change this to 500 you can see it extends to the right hand side so if you want this just rotate it so that it looks like your picture on the right so if i do change the projection one to let's say 600 update it to the right hand side and then if i change the four let's say also to 500 it's going to change it to let's say the top more top area and that one here more bottom okay so i'm just going to make this all square and i want it to 300 then you can change your plate corners you can give it a fillet something like that and you just change or rotate so it looks like this fillet a cut or a convex so if you change that fillet and you want to make it a let's say 50 mil fillet see it increases but i am um, just going to say none then your anchors and your bolts here you can change it to any type of anchor that you'd like could it be a post fixed anchor or one that's cast in like the holding the holding down bolts then here 
I'm just going to change the diameter to maybe 24 moles. And here your anchor grade, I'll make it 8.8. .8. And the anchor assembly, I'm going to leave on this. And then your anchor length, you can also change. See how that anchor length increases every time I change it. So this obviously depends on your base depth and your design. Then my, the, if you say invert anchor, just want to show you, does something like that. But obviously just leave it unticked and then the rest I just leave as is. You can generate a washer plate if you'd want. Just click on it and then you can edit the washer plate how you please. Then you can change the amount of anchors that you have. Just want to rotate this again. So the anchor is parallel to the web. So it will be in this direction. Your ankles will increase from left to right. So if I change the number of anchors to five, and let me just make the spacing, let's say 150, it's going to look something like that just to show you. So I'm going to keep it at two and maybe make that to 50 or 300 like that. Then you can do the offset from center. That's just if I type in 100, it's going to shift to the left. So I'm just going to rotate it like that. So it shifts to the right. If I say minus 100, it shifts to the left. Just going to leave it on zero. Then you can play around with the group here. Yeah, I don't use that. Then anchor parallel to flange. Same principle as the web. Here I will make it three bolts and I'll make that space 200. So you have it like this. And then I'll leave out the rest. The welds I just leave as is. Then stiffener, you can put in stiffener plates here. You can have a look at all of this. I usually just use the web stiffener or the flange stiffener. So the web stiffener, you will go and say both sides. It's going to give you a stiffener plate. Looks like this on both sides. There you can see it. And you can go and edit this. You can make it higher 200 mils like that and then wider maybe 80 mils you can increase the, the thickness to say 12 looks like that so you can play around with this um, but for this exercise i'm going to leave it out just want to show you then your fl flange plates you can also do on both sides you can see the plate there you can then update this plate as we did for the web stiffener and then you can also play around with the rest of the stiffeners just going to untick this just want to show you this one also sometimes use this one you can see it puts the plate right next to the actual beam or column rather then you can change the thickness and just reference the numbers here like i said earlier on the left one is your thickness which is that there to the projection to the left and three projection to the right etc then like i said you can play around with the rest of the plates then the holes here i always just leave it as is and then i say okay and then okay again and then it's generated our plate for us and we have our own preset plate for a column so just to show you if you want to make sure that this place base plate is not overwritten you will say edit and you will say duplicate and let's call it column one and i say okay and okay so now if i do the drop down you're going to have a, the base plate and the column one so if i had to go and copy this over without the base plate like that and I say control or CS on my keyboard to create similar and there I've generated the column one but I want to say no I want this as the column two duplicate call it column two edit and then just for illustration purposes I'm going to just add in bolts on this direction like that three bolts and then make that spacing 150 i know it 
obviously it doesn't portray correctly so let's not do that then let's just make it 200 and then maybe do the group one just say to the right hands or rather both sides number one as you can see it's increased the bolts there and i make it 150 something like that so you can see if i say okay and okay it only changes this one because this is the base plate for the column two see there column two and this base plate is column one if you want it to be the same just click there and select column two and it updates it so anything you change in this edit type area for column two base plate it will it will update automatically for this one if it's the same base plate okay so guys that is how you do a base plate in rivet um, please like and subscribe if you want to see more content and thank you very much for all your support cheers guys